All right, welcome to a screencast video. I want to show you guys real quick how to set up an answer sheet for this class. Uh, something you might have noticed by now if you have gone through myPLTW.org and looked at our curriculum. There is places for you to be able to type answers and, and quote unquote turn things in, uh, but really there's not. So you can type, but you can't turn things in to where I can view them. So we have to do it a different way. So we're gonna do this on Google Docs, which is obviously operated through your drive. So here I am in my drive. This is a good opportunity for you to go ahead and create a folder in your drive for um, this class. So create a new folder. I want you to title it CSP 20-21. I'm gonna put demo at the end of this because otherwise I'll think it's a different folder for like my teacher content type stuff. Uh, you do not need to put demo at the end. So I have created a folder. Okay, I'm going to go into that folder. The first activity we're starting off with is 1.1.1. So I'm going to create a Google Doc. I'm going to title this. I want you to title everything in this class. Okay, I know how it operates in your in your Google Drive and everything. If you go in, you type in a document, you don't title it, you have untitled document number 9,672. Okay, well, we can't operate like that in high school. Okay, so what I need you to do is I need you to title this document uh, CSP 1.1.1. You can put AK or AS for answer sheet and then dash your initials. Okay, so what that is is CSP, Computer Science Principles, Activity 1.1.1, answer sheet, and then your initials. So that way you know where all this stuff is. Okay. So now that we have it titled, everything should be good. The next step in the process is for us to format the sheet correctly in order for me to be able to grade it quickly. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like grading. Okay. So the easier it is for me to grade, the easier and faster it's going to be for you to get a grade in the grade book. Okay. So kind of a little bit of a give and take here on both parties. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to go up here to insert and I want you to insert a table. Okay. Go two columns over. So it highlights the two columns, put as many rows as possible or as many vertical things as possible. Now, just because it said 20 on it, that doesn't mean that we're going to have 20 questions to answer, okay? So the next step is to go ahead and resize this. And I want you to bring it over here somewhere just to where you can get a number, like a two-digit number in there, up to 20, up to 25, something along those lines, all right? So that's how we set up our answer sheet. The next video that you watch will be you guys learning how to use a snipping tool or screenshots and put in your answers into these actual sheets here.